Hello and welcome to Mission Karnataka. As political parties and politicians battle for the state of Karnataka, which of course votes in a matter of weeks, in this show we'll be bringing you voices to talk about the hot topic issues of this very intense election campaign. And today it's going to be that issue which has taken centre stage, the recommendation by the Congress government in the state that Lingayats should be considered part of a separate minority religion. Now, we'll be doing this like a debate, old school style, and joining us for that, representing the Congress, will be Professor Rajiv Gowda, national spokesperson from the BJP, S. Prakash, from the party trying to take over the state in the next election. And we also have students, bright young students of the Indian Institute of Journalism and New Media. So, to start with, we'll be giving both these debaters two minutes to express their view the proposal, the proposition from the Congress, the Lingayats should be considered part of a separate minority religion. Professor Rajigada, why? Thank you, Maya. The demand for a separate Lingayat religion has been long-standing. The religion Lingayat was actually recognized as a separate religion until the 1881 census, and since then, it has been subsumed within the larger Hindu framework. Now, during the Constitutional Assembly debates and thereafter, including as most recently the census of 2011, there had been a major demand from within the community to be classified as a separate religion, and there were calls to people of the community to report themselves as a separate religion. Now, this movement has culminated in lots of ground, in a groundswell of support across Karnataka, and so seeing this, the emergence of this extraordinary support on the ground, the Congress government, led by Sidramaya, essentially set up a commission led by retired Justice Nagmohan Das and asked the commission to essentially examine the demands and to see whether this is a worthy recommendation to make to the center. The commission came out with its report and pointed out that as per the Lingayat community's own um, self-identification, the fact that Baswarna in the 12th century had rejected the various practices of you know, Brahminical and Vedic Hinduism and uh, chalked out a new casteless path which had embraced people from many different backgrounds and was truly revolutionary in its own time. Um, basically, the government uh, accepted the recommendation of the Justice Nagmohan Das Committee to accord separate religion status to the Lingayat community. Just, just one question, like you say, it's a long-standing demand, it's been there for a long time. The timing, just ahead of the elections. Why now? See, given that Sidramaya is going to come back as chief minister and we're going to have five more years, this could have been delayed. This could have been delayed. There's no reason to have, you know, but basically we are a responsive government and we ensure that if there's so much of a groundswell of support, this is something that you must respond to. Prakash, I'm sure you have questions based on his opening statement. Any particular question you would like to put to him? Nagmohan Das Expert Committee was formed and it was said it needs six months of time to submit the report. The four-member committee comprising of that expert group, so-called, did not have one Lingayat or Veera Shaiva representation who could have understood what is what. Mujahideen, one Muslim candidate was also an expert committee member. How these four could bring out a report within two months of time, when they themselves said they need six months of time. Is this not dubious? Was the report prepared elsewhere and the expert committee signature was laid on it, yes. put to it? The doctrinal basis for Lingayatism has been around for a long time. Uh, Dr. Kalburgi, our, uh, who was assassinated, um, was one of the people who has articulated the differences between the Lingayat community and the Hindu mainstream. So this is not you know, something, you look at our panel here, none of us are Lingayats or Virashaivas here either, but we can address the issues, understand the received knowledge that's already out there, and based on the groundswell of support, say that this is a legitimate demand. Prakash, I'm going to give you your two minutes now as to why the BJP thinks it's such a bad idea. We are not saying it's a very bad idea. 
neither we have said anywhere we have opposed to creating a separate religion identity for the lingayat community okay. karnataka suddenly wakes up to certain contentious issues in the over period of 6 months of time in the congress party's last bastion is is karnataka every successive election held in the past 3 years congress lost miserably barring punjab and pandicherry just to hold on to the karnataka assembly seat they devised many contentious issues one for example they wanted suddenly kannada flag kannada pride hindu imposition and now lingayat issues government which ruled for 5 years their foundation should have been their performance what is it congress party is doing today in karnataka they are indulging in dividing the people in between forward community and backward community now just lingayats and veerashivas have been divided why this divisive politics just to win 2018 may 12th assembly polls is are they so desperate don't they have any other agenda you also started by saying that you don't think it's a bad idea so isn't the bjp just worried that they're losing what has been perceived as the vote base the lingayat vote base isn't that your only concern no that's not the only con- our concern at all it's if the election con- concerns were there we would have welcomed on the very first day itself we said why do you divide the people only for the vote sake why now why now the timing the 2013, timing 2013 Veera Shiva Mahasabha, not only Lingayat. Veera Shiva Mahasabha submits a memorandum to Home Minister, Union Home Minister. He rejects it. Its Registrar of India says this is not possible. And Congress Party was ruling then. And why did they reject it? They could have accepted it. That was the aspiration of the people. First, a clarification: these sorts of recommendations. Uh, must go from the state government just any organization making this kind of a request or a demand does not automatically grant it they uh, you know it's not beholden on the home ministry to recognize that and here the state government has taken this procedure and followed it and had a commission look at the whole thing before making a recommendation now i'm very concerned about prakash's status as a member of the bjp because he is opposing the view of mr amit shah he mr amit shah that. is he not did not say that yes, he did that. I, I read the papers i read that no, in the I papers read, i've seen the speech i well i read that in the papers i have some faith in media still the basic point is uh, basic point, point is uh, <laughs> the basic point is your party has chosen mr yadurappa as its leader because <laughs> of the hope that he will bring some lingayat support you also you know basically now you have to tell me prakash that you reject mr amit shah's Uh, rejection <laughs> so, of the lingayat demand <laughs> uh, that you have we'll no truck with amit shah that is one thing and uh, otherwise mr amit shah is trying to you know take the aspirations of the people of karnataka and you know throw them in the dustbin which is not surprising at all so have you rejected the rejection of the idea by amit shah and isn't yet your party your chief ministerial candidate because he's a lingayat we make it very clear amit shah did not say we will not accord any religious state uh, status to lingayats as did. long no no i say we said we will not indulge in dividing the society but he said the idea would That's never happen the idea no, would no, never no, i'm, I'm telling you i was present there i was very much present there he only said we will not divide the society this idea has been brought by siddaramaiya only to deny edurappa becoming the chief minister as he belongs to the lingayat community they wanted to divide the votes to an extent so that they can again come back to power in 2018 any loss here would wipe them out from the indian map mr rahul gandhi was in karnataka when the students in mysore asked them the, about the, this question about lingayat issue he passed on the mic to mr siddaramaiya to reply it then is he running away from the question uh, on lingayat issue i cannot say that this timing we are questioning the motive we are questioning in 2013 you had the opportunity you could have read the aspirations of the people you could have suggested to the that delegation which came to you to uh, accord separate religious religious status to lingayat come with a resolution from the recommendation from the state government you did not say that this proposal is not feasible it cannot be considered stating that they rejected it i have all the documents about it i'm not just blindly speaking about it it is the congress government did that not the bjp government today congress suddenly wakes up yes let's divide the uh, lingayats get some votes 
let's deny Mr. Yudhurappa becoming the Chief Minister. That is the strategy it seems to be. So, we'll go for a break now. After a break, we'll get some comments and questions from the students.